I'm proud to have been the president who brought the White House into the digital age. When I became president, there were just 50 websites on the World Wide Web. Now there are 17 million and almost 50 million households online in the United States alone. Under the leadership of Vice President Gore, we've used information technology to bring government closer to citizens in many ways. But we must more than ensure that the benefits of the information revolution flow to every American. We must also pay attention to the issues of computer security and the privacy of our records on computers, so that the newest technology doesn't undermine our oldest values. I'll see you online, and thanks for watching. Thank you.
Isolation Zone. Mm-hmm.
right, caller, hello. Thanks for taking my call, man. I really appreciate it. Hey, hey. Uh, so what's the situation out there on the surface? Social order breaking down yet? Civilization collapsing? Give me a quick rundown. Well, uh, you know, it's getting there. It's, it's working towards that. Uh, probably got a few more weeks of lockdowns and shutting things down and then a few more months of unrest but yeah i'd say social disorder is 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 in the mail it's on the way what do you mean uh what is what does on the surface mean what does that mean the surface oh i've been holding up in a cave for the past few months if that's why you're asking that is why i'm asking that's exactly why i'm asking what do you mean a cave yeah, I, I've been living here ever since I first caught wind of the outbreak back in mid-December. Uh, I was like, a deadly virus emerging halfway across the world in China? Bug out time. And I didn't have any uh, kind of fortified emergency bunkers, so I thought, what's the next best thing? Bam! Subterranean cave system. Remo cave real estate. Nature's all-out shelter. Interesting. Very interesting. I hear, I hear some sort of noise in the background. What is that? Oh, that's just the bats. Don't mind them. Whole lot of bats down here in the cave. They've been keeping me company for the past few months. You know, sir, uh, you certainly probably know this. I would think, being so attuned to this, but bats are, uh, they are, they are the carriers of coronavirus. There, that's where it originated. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, everyone's everyone's been saying everyone's been saying it jumped from bats to humans, bat soup. You didn't hear about any of that? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Hello? 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 Press one. Descend. Hello, Droopy. You are on the air. How are you today? Uh, very good. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you fine. Can you hear me? Okay. Well, yeah, I can hear you. Well, uh, I just wanted to talk about a, a breakthrough I've made with this uh, coronavirus situation. Really? What, I, what, what sort of well, breakthrough? Well, as, as a lot of people know, I study at studied at the uh, Balloon Diva University in Houston, Texas. Some. I'm very knowledgeable about uh, a lot of things that have to do with balloons. Uh -huh. And I've developed a, a new piece of technology that will help us uh, fast track the flattening of the curve. Uh, it's a balloon dog that will 
walk the streets and uh, scan all people. And uh, this is going to scan them for coronavirus. And if they have coronavirus, it's going to shoot a little balloon down their throat and then inflate it so they suffocate on it and die. So we're taking a very hard line approach to a coronavirus. And old people will be killed instantly. They're not even, we're, we're not even going to waste the uh, scan on them. Uh, so. All right, Droopy, Droopy. I have to let's let's take it a couple steps back here. Okay, you went to a, a balloon sort of university. Yeah, it's in Houston, Texas. It's an accredited place. It's called Balloon Diva University. And you learned about balloons. What was your major there? Uh, balloons. It was just you, okay. You were you were sure. one of the standard balloon students. Were there was yeah. there a lot of diversity in students, or were most people just majoring in balloons? It was mostly balloons. All right, so you learned about balloons and a, a balloon applications, it sounds like. This is a very, mm-hmm. this is like an application of balloon technology. I need to ask you this, uh, because I don't know you personally. Where, you know, is this an idea that you have, or is this something that's that we can expect to see? Is, is there a prototype in the works? Oh, uh, we can expect to see it anytime. We've got a prototype uh, we've tested it on a couple uh, willing old people. Uh, they were they were all killed just fine. Uh, haven't had any young people volunteer yeah. yet, but uh, so okay. So you have a balloon dog that you are taking you, around, and uh, un- it's self automated. No one has to take it around. It just kind of walks around on its own. Oh, that's interesting. That's actually very good. I mean, okay. So to me, the the odd thing about this is the balloons. You know, like you've got this whole idea about a dog and killing people with coronavirus but i just don't you know i guess it makes sense because you 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 study balloons like that is your that's that's your knowledge base Wait, I, I i got a scholarship there so i just decided to, to take it <laughs> so it wasn't your first choice no no what was your first choice uh interpretive dance ah i see well, you know, that could have maybe been used in a different way for solving this crisis. You seem like a guy who wants, who's a problem solver. He takes what he knows and he solves a problem. Right. Yeah. So uh, do you have any plans um, for selling this, or is this something you're trying to sell, like get a government contract? Uh, no. We're just going to unleash them, basically. This is just a private operation. Yes. And uh, thankfully, balloons are very cheap. Balloons are not in high demand right now. Yeah. So, uh, Right, We're gonna flood me. the streets, flood the streets with uh, balloon dogs, and uh, it's gonna flatten the curve. It sounds like a very philanthropic endeavor, uh, and we thank. I you don't for, know what that word means. It's it just means charitable. You're you're doing good things for people, and you don't even need compensation for it. I think that's admirable. Okay. All right. You have All a right. good day now, Drewby. Yeah. You, you too. Joey. Joey, you are on the Chronocast, aka Chrono Lives. Corona okay. Okay, Corona Cast. That's what you're calling it now. Okay, Tommy, look. All right, give me the vehicle back, all right, and there won't be any trouble, okay? What's that? Just Is bring that... it down bring it down the boulevard, there won't be any problems, okay? Joey, Joey, right. I don't know what you're talking about, my friend. I, 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 I'm not Tommy. I, I don't know anything about Tommy. What do you, what do you mean? Okay, okay. You know what? Get, get the car. Hey, hey, get the car. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, we're going. Hey, car, yeah. Okay. hey, Tony. Right, look, hey, right, look, listen you, to me. Okay, hey, what? listen to me, Joey. If you're gonna come down here, I'm gonna fuck you up. You see, this is my friend oh, Rob right here. This I'm is my friend Rob. We're time. gonna fuck you you're up, buddy. We're gonna fuck you up. I don't know that guy. I never heard of that guy in my life. Fuck that guy. Whoever he is. Joey. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Fuck you. Fuck your mama, Joey. 
Yeah, call back in, you stupid son of a bitch. I'll fucking beat your ass. This is my friend Rob. If I can't beat your ass, he's next in line to try. One of us will be able to do it. Hello, yes, huge fan, long-time listener, first-time caller. Uh, anyway, I've got an idea for a new invention that could help combat the virus. You know how they tell you you shouldn't touch your face and eyes and stuff? Well, I do that a lot. I was having a real struggle with it, and then I realized I could keep my hands in my pockets, which helped, but I still touch my face a lot. Uh, and then it hit me. I could install Chinese finger traps in the pockets, and then my hands would get stuck, you know? And if I want to remove my hands, then I would have to think really hard about it and carefully remove my fingers, and I think I would forget all about touching my face by that point. <laughs>
motherfucker got their gun on.
Ochsen. So, uh, I just want to say that like the whole the whole deal with the, the the this this virus thing, this coronavirus thing being started by by bats. I think that I think that's so lame. Bats bats are not a cool animal at all for for like a plague for a pandemic. Like like you know you know the bubonic plague. It was it was the rats and the fleas and stuff. Rat, rats are so much cooler cooler than bats. And my my friend Tommy, my friend Tommy, he sent me uh, a lot of a lot of uh, fa facts about rats. And and I think they're just I they're a lot cooler like like just just listen to this like like the jaw muscles of a rat can exert up to 12 tons per square inch. By comparison, a great white shark bites with the force of 1.8 to 2 tons per square inch. That that bites the bats they got the little the little teeth right they, they suck blood. That's not cool at all. Rat rats they they bite hard. That's a lot cooler. Um, like, okay, oh, oh, uh, the, the leaping ability of, of rats, they, they have a vertical leap of around 36 inches, and, and they can also leap 48 inches horizontally, that means a rat can climb up to 4 feet away from your house and still leap, leap on roof and walls, rats can also survive a fall up to 50 feet, and, and if they miss, they'll just try again, 
and and bats they can fly and that's that's really cool but you know the flying is overrated and rats rats they scuttle around i think that i think that's a lot cooler they can jump that's the yeah um oh, what 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 uh ooh yeah they they like scurry up trees and stuff that's a lot cooler than than flying going branches and and they can like chew through wires um oh oh rats rats can climb like rats can like climb on anything they they can climb climb on concrete Brick, wood, sheet metal, plastic, stucco, drywall, you name it. Rat, rat can climb it. <laughs> can rats chew through wood? Yes. Can bats uh, chew through wood? No. Can rats chew through brick? Yes, they can chew through brick. Okay? Uh, rat, rats chew through concrete? Yes, but only if it's not cured properly. Um, <laughs> You're not going to... Rat rats okay bats they have like hollow bones they fly I, I I get it that's fine whatever but but rats they have collapsible bones and bones that can bend and they they can fit in small they can small rats can fit through whole size of a quarter <laughs> oh man oh it's just I I get I get the whole the bat thing whatever they they're at night rats anytime you name it rats they can do it. So yeah, I think I think the whole coronavirus being a bat thing, I think that's that's lame. Cause rats rule. Thanks, Tommy, for all the cool rat facts.
that time of the night again Will you keep your distance Don't come near the dance floor In fact, why are you even here? What made you think this was a good idea? I'll tell you what you should be doing It's Don't go outside Watch TV Pet the dog Brush your teeth Comb your hair Play Animal Crossing don't look doorknobs. Meditate. Read a book. Bubble bath. Bubble bath. Bubble bath. Bake a cake. You're unemployed. Do a dance. Call your friends. Learn a skill. Watch paint dry. Bust a move. Commit a crime. You won't. Bubble bath. 